you're trying to work your way towards marriage and work your way towards the covenant and y'all are trying to build your relationship on the right foundation which is god you are going to get attacked and most of all he wants y'all to think that the problem is the other person so he wants y'all to be against each other instead of against the problem so you'll be sitting here mad at your significant other and really you need to be praying for them it's warfare when y'all are arguing the most you need to be praying the most well gang we back in this thing another wolf and pooch uh episode for y'all y'all seen the clip at the beginning pooch found a clip that she wanted to do a show on about uh spiritual warfare and relationships i thought that was a good topic so here we are um you want to explain what caught your attention about that clip so you know one morning you know doing my usual scrolling through tiktok right i came across this and and she really just it was um she grabbed me with what she said because oftentimes I feel like when you're, you know, in a relationship, uh, marriage, you, you do have, you, you're going to run into issues. It's, it's inevitable, right? And a lot of times those issues could stem from whatever. It could be distractions that are sent to disrupt what you have, right? Especially if you have a good thing going on. Um, and you know, you guys, you know, or whatever, like it's been going well, but like, then there's something in there that kind of throws it off. Right. And then it turns into this like battle between the two of you, which she kind of explained a little bit as spiritual warfare. And it's like, okay, here you guys are going at it when you need to like stop and think like, look, if we're, if we're really focused on, you know, God being at the core and center of our relationship and our bond, we got to knock this off and get back to what we you know are supposed to be doing and and the part where she said about the when you're arguing the most that's when you need to be praying the most that really struck me too because it's like you know what it does it just makes you stop and think like what is going on here we this this needs to be repaired and you know and like i said if god is at the forefront of your relationship bond whatever then yes that's you have you have to always go back to that i feel like you know um, she talked about a lot of other things. We can't play all of the clips, but um, she just spoke to so many things in regards to that. Like, you know, basically, you know, people who, you know, the enemy doesn't want to see people together, right? They want to see people apart. They want to break that apart. Um, you know, they want, you know, to disrupt the good thing, as I was saying earlier. And, um, you know, I, I'm sure many of you may have dealt with that, you know, Um but yeah, it's it, it's just one of those things that you just have to be cautious and aware of because it could cause a lot of problems, you know, in your relationship. So, you know, I don't know your thoughts on that. Uh, I agree. I agree. I think definitely um, if you're a couple that prays, of course, the devil going to try to mess it up, right? Sure. You don't want that. But also, like, a lot of couples don't pray and, mm -hmm. and still it, it's a messed up situation, right? Right. Because... For the ones, like, if you don't pray, in general, not even in relationships, if you're a person that's not spiritual, and you out here doing whatever, whatever, living for your worldly, you mm -hmm. know, then the devil already knows, okay, I got him, right? right. The devil is like, all right, well, I ain't got to mess with him. He already on my team, and this and that, mm -hmm. right? But when you actually trying in this world, when you're trying to... Uh, live a narrow path and you're trying to live for god and you're really trying to be your best version then yeah that's when the enemy comes right mm -hmm. and i feel like if for one before you even get in a relationship i feel like you should have if you're a spiritual person you need to be with somebody that's spiritual right, right? because if you get in with somebody who who's you know, you get with an atheist and you're a Christian or whatever, you know, that ain't going to work. That's going to bump heads, problems, right? right? Yeah. So then it ain't going to be no prayer <laughs> in a relationship. Y'all yeah. ain't going to pray together. It's going to be a whole lot of fights. Well, you're not right? equally yoked at that point. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Being equally yoked. So I feel like if you really want, you know, your relationship to work, prayer definitely should be in the, the forefront, in, in the center of it. And also, like, just realizing that even though you pray, like how she said, everything is still not going to be perfect, you know? Right. But but I think that's why you need to really love the person. Because if you don't really love the person in your relationship, you're not going to want to stick through, through 
through those tough times, through those difficult times. You ain't going to want to pray. Right. You ain't going to want to, you know, take the time to water the grass if you don't care about it. You right. know, if you don't really love them like that, it, it, it'll seem like work. Right. Right. If you don't love a person, it becomes work instead of you trying Being to effortless and just exactly. wanting to. Right. You're gonna, there's going to be the need there and the desire. So I feel like that's where it starts first. Like you got to really you got to figure out how you feel about that person and be honest with yourself. You know, because mm -hmm. a lot of people would just get with somebody because they, you know, needy or feel like they need to be Convenient, with someone. Not really things, because yeah. they actually want to be with. A lot of people like the idea of people instead mm -hmm. of them, right? right? Oh, that would be great to, I bet me and her would look good together. Or I bet me and him, we'll make a great married couple. Then when it happens, you realize, whew, we is not compatible. What the hell is I think? And because you wasn't really in love with that person, you didn't really love that person. It was the idea. Mm -hmm. A lot of people be in love with the idea of love, but they don't really know how to love. And, they, and a lot of people don't know how to receive love. Simple that's as that. That's that's problem within itself, yeah. So before you even get to the whole relationship, that's why I think it's important to build yourself up first, spiritually. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure you love yourself first. All of that. Because it makes it that much easier if you already come in a relationship built up. You know, right. a lot of people say, you know, I hear the thing, oh, you know, we can build each other up and work together and yeah, I mean, you it's can, a, I mean, but here's situation, the thing. God, I don't want to cut you off. It, it'll be, you know, a lot of people call that, you know, trauma bonding. Oh, we both got our traumas. Let's just jump in a relationship yeah, that's, and, no, that's and not try to well. fix each that's, other. No, because then it, the whole thing is based off of that. Yeah, but it shouldn't, so and it shouldn't good. be the other person's responsibility to have to fix you up and, no. you know, pour into your cup all the time, especially when they got their own issues. So, right. I feel like you need to come spiritually prepared in, in, in like a relationship in order for it to really thrive, you know. Right, and be prepared for those bumps in the road, you know, because that is going to happen. And when they happen, you will be better prepared to handle it if, you know, this is at your forefront. At least I believe so, right? Mm. Because you can't do it alone, you know. You just, I, at least I feel like sometimes you just need to really go to God about like, all right, look, I'm struggling with this. Like what, you know. I need your help. Like, I need your guidance. I need your strength. I need your courage. I need your wisdom. And then, you know, you eventually will feel and see and know what you need to do in that situation particularly, right? Yeah. Um, you know, and you could also ask for those things together with your partner. Like, hey, you know what? I don't like how things are going right now. Like, you know, we seem off. Like, let's just sit down and pray together about this. And... I and you may see. need to pray and see if y'all supposed to be together. You right. know, that's a big step too. Sometimes right. we think we're supposed to be with a person and God was like, nah, I didn't tell you to go with them. You right. decided that on yourself. So right. sometimes you may need to pray for answers to see, okay, should I be with this person? First of all, once you get your answer, yeah, okay. Now what's the next steps we're going to take to build this thing up? Right. right? And what I was going to say before you interjected, but that was a good interjection. Um, no, it just, when you do that, you know, as, as a couple, like, ask for this guidance, it, it really could have a very beautiful outcome, right? Because it's almost like you feel a little bit relieved, like, oh, okay, we just did that together. It's, it's the thing of, like, we just asked for that together. Because it's one thing to ask for it yourself, but when you're doing it jointly, there's more meaning to it. I believe, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, because at the end of the day, you know, there's times where we're going to question ourselves, question our partner, question the togetherness, like you said, and just, you know, we need to have something to go to, right, for that. So. Right. You just want the foundation, right? right? Prayer should be the foundation. When times get hard, you know, okay, let's go back to the basics. Let's get on our knees. Let's open this Bible. Let's, right. let's pray. Let's get our way out of this right but if you ain't got no foundation when times get hard what you gonna do you're gonna fall apart simple as right. that right all right I, th I think you got anything else to add i because don't I think um I'm really I, th I think that we kind of covered a lot of bases i mean she, yeah her i mean if you want to go watch the full clip and we could put her name in it was just she, she talked for about two minutes and she just really was it was power for me it was powerful it might be powerful for you too so all um, right good that's it for this episode that was
what spiritual warfare, warfare and relationships <laughs> you know i think that was episode what, 49 49 we're we moving and there. grooving man yeah i've been, been at this now um, for two years make two sure years. y'all follow the socials you know the tiktok and all that good instagram. stuff instagram and uh till the next time like, yeah like comment oh, subscribe all that good stuff and hey thanks for rocking with us appreciate it we still going till the next time we'll see y'all later